Gamers and Game Mets, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video. And man, doesn't it feel good to be back. Thank you guys so much for your patience and I hope you guys are enjoying the new revision of my videos. And um, this is going to be an ongoing process. I'm going to continue to try and improve the quality of them. I'll make little subtle changes just you know, to make my videos better for you guys. But um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I am the console MMO enthusiast, baby. And um, today we're going to be talking about the lovely game you guys see on the screen right here. This is Fantasy Star Online 2, and by the way, guys, this is PlayStation 4 gameplay. Unfortunately, the game's only available in Japan on PS4, but you guys know that's not the topic that we're here to um, discuss today. So, um, enjoy the gameplay. You guys can get a little bit of a sample of, you know, what you're going to be looking at when this game releases on PC and Xbox One in spring of, uh, of 2020. But let's go ahead and get on into the news. So, if you've been living under a rock, or if you know you just haven't been following the MMO news lately for the past few days because you're excited about E3, allow allow me to um to uh, reacquaint you. So, during Microsoft's E3 press conference, they dropped a bombshell that not even your boy, the console MMO enthusiast, was ever expecting. I never, in a million years, thought this was going to happen. But they um, announced Fantasy Star Online 2 for Xbox One and PC in North, of, North America. Now, if you don't know what Fantasy Star Online 2 is, well, it's probably because you just um, haven't been in the loop too much with it because it's been a game that's only been available in Japan for the past five years. And it sucks because Sega promised a North American version long, long ago. Just went dark, went silent, never said a word never came through on a promise never just never said said anything until until now so um like i said it was announced at our microsoft's e3 conference for um for a spring of 2020 release it is going to feature cross play between xbox one and pc however no north american version of playstation 4 was has been mentioned or announced at all now, you're going to hear a lot of rumor and speculation coming from a lot of different people because um, everyone's just taking their best guess and their best shot at this. The honest answer is we don't know anything yet because Microsoft and Sega announced this game. They said we'd be getting more details in the future. Like, I'll literally put their, their Twitter post up here so you guys can see it see it for yourselves it just talks about you know how they're just there's not much to share share right now so they really haven't told us much of anything when it comes to fantasy star online 2 as of the future of the xbox and pc game that's on the way now whether it's going to hit other platforms in north america or nothing all we know is that um the game is being published by by microsoft now, Microsoft is going, is, you know, is, is publishing the game, and a lot of people are taking that, running with it, and assuming that that means that, you know, it'll never come on the PlayStation 4. Well, my good buddy Minecraft here, he, he says otherwise. Now, I'm not going to use that as, you know, to get your hopes up and say, you know, oh, a PS4 version is going to be coming just because, you know, Minecraft is a Microsoft published game and it's on the PlayStation platform. I'm, I'm just saying that don't let people saying that make it just a, a ruled a ruled out possibility. You guys, we've been down this MMO train before with these exclusive MMO deals and, and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm really on, shocked more than anything that Sony didn't jump the, the gun at this, especially how much their fans personally have been asking for this. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm sure the Xbox community and all the positive feedback I've heard alone on this topic, I'm sure they're more than grateful. But the PlayStation community has been the ones <laughs> begging for this for five years from now, literally. Like, you know, it was always, you know, like a, a dream, you know, that it could come to Xbox and everything, but it was never seen as an actual possibility, even though some Fantasy Star games were on um were on older Xbox systems previously. So it does kinda um does kinda make sense makes sense in a way they've been on they've been on both um xbox and i believe nintendo systems as well if i'm not if i'm not mistaken but um i'm just saying guys off of off of that alone and the rumors you hear you know take a look at these things i'm going to show you right here and even i'm going to put a 
little statement on their website as well. It just says spring of 2020 coming to Xbox One and PC. There is no word of a PS4 version or um or a Nintendo Switch version for that matter yet. And we um it might be a while before we hear something. But the main point I want to I want to stretch here, guys, is like I was saying earlier, don't let the fact that you know the game is Microsoft published. I don't care what anybody tells you, what people say in in any other videos. Don't let that steer you away from believing that the game will never come to PlayStation 4. It's just that Sega isn't talking. They're not giving us many details. Neither Microsoft or Sega have made any type of statement on this game about its exclusivity or how it's going to work yet. All we know is that um, Microsoft jumped at the opportunity to bring this to North America. And honestly, guys, when it comes to Fancy Star Online 2, I'm just glad that some console, one of these console guys between Microsoft, PlayStation, and Nintendo grab this game and finally you know decide to support it and bring it to North America and all honestly I'm kind of glad Xbox did it because one thing the Xbox platform is missing is a hardcore MMO dedicated to that platform like for example PlayStation has Final Fantasy 14 which is cross play with PC you know that's been Sony's hardcore MMO since literally the PlayStation 3 era well, the Xbox platform hasn't really had a good dedicated MMO to its platform yet. And I think Fantasy Star Online 2, especially, you know, being a game that's cross-play with PC, has some exclusivity with Microsoft, whether it's temporarily, forever, however the heck it's going to work, I honestly do think that that's a really, really good thing. So honestly, guys, I'm just glad that's coming to North America. I'll leave a link down to the trailer and the stuff in the description below. I'll leave a link to their website. But like I said, guys, news and stuff will be up, will be upcoming in the in the coming months. But neither Microsoft or Sega have made any real statements about Fantasy Star Online 2 besides that hey, we're going to share more info in the future. But all, for right now, all we know is it's real, it's coming, and it's expected to launch sometime spring of 2020. So that means anywhere between March and June of next year. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tenef127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.